everyone. I'm back. Time to unbox. So, you know, you've seen my hair situation. So I have decided to invest in a Rev Air blow dryer. For those that don't know, a Rev Air is like a vacuum blow dryer. So I've, I saw the reviews, um, watched a couple of videos on how to use it. Um, it's very expensive, won't lie to you. It's about $400 now. But a YouTube, uh, after finding who it was, a YouTube would make a good point. She said, you know, you'll spend two fifty dollars on knotless sprays that'll last three months. This can last me years of blowing out my hair in a faster time frame. So, let's see. Open it up. It's actually 10 and a half pounds. My rub hair has arrived. It better come in all this fancy packaging for the price. If shook is what you're going for, we've got you. Open me. Scan, rev it, love it, my rev air. Okay, it's a contraption. I expected a contraption. This comes out? Yeah. All right, so first this says, this is the wand where the magic happens, apparently. It's in pantyhose. <laughs> I'll get that off in a second. And this is the base which controls my tension level. Oh, and it's heavy. Okay. What else we got? Additional items, a manual hose, and a wand rest. So this must be the rest. I'll figure out how to put all that together in a second. Hose. This really does look like a vacuum. They are not playing. Um and the manual. All right, so quick start guide. I guess I have to unpantyhose these. All right, so let's go ahead and take the plastic off of this. It's not plastic, sorry, pantyhose. Okay, so this is where my hair goes. Does it? No, that goes to this way. This is where we're <laughs> All right. I'm not mad at the packaging for the price. It should be extra. All right, here's my quick start guide. Get back in here. Attach the hose. So then I attach with the filter bracket aligned and insert into the base. Insert the tab on the bottom into the groove located at the bottom. Tab, tab. Should it be easier than this? Oh, and then I twist it, I guess. No. <laughs> so, let's try this again. Now, we think River will quickly become your favorite hair tool, retain the packaging in the event of returns. Oh, I will. Attaching the wand. While holding the wand in one hand and the hose in the other, align the key on the hose. And the bonus is the wand's rest that I put in here. Either side, slide the flat clip, flat clip, <laughs> and lock it into place. Hook the wand over the wand rest during spin. Okay, I see what you did there. 
Now, I'm going to go ahead and part my hair out. I washed my hair, towel dried it, and now I have to detangle it. And I'm going to see how this works. Well, you're going to see how it works. So I followed directions. I separated my hair into six, but I don't think probably gonna have to separate each section in one in half. I can't talk. Um, so let's do it. Let's get to it. So I got my wand, put my hair in here. How I turn it on? So begin by setting your air tension to level two. So what I heard from the girlies is we're looking at level seven for our type of hair. I don't know what that is. First, I got to turn the base on. The base. <laughs> you know what I meant. Um, let's see. Power on the base unit and one. Base unit on. Mm -hmm. Insert hair one. Keep it at near da 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 and dry. Yeah, but how you see page four? Preferred settings. Okay. Oh, okay. So high temperature is right here. And the, the other one is a cool, and then this is low temperature. So I want it on high temperature. Where's the tension level? Oh, there's a button. Did I miss that? I don't see where I changed it to seven. Oh, is that on the base? I think enough has to come out. Oh, it's here. Okay. <laughs> My dog ran. the heat now. I didn't let it warm up, I would think.
So final thoughts. It dried my hair. Definitely dry. Definitely fast. This probably took 25 minutes to dry. Um, is it worth $400? Nah. So the benefit is that you don't have to keep running a comb, you know, with the blow dryer, you keep running a comb through your hair and obviously that leads to breakage and it takes longer and yeah, I'll say this because I'm going to continue to use this. It's not a one-time thing. So I will say, yes, it's worth the money. Um, it's, it's all, also straighter than I would normally get it. Like if I had some texture or curl to this, I could actually leave the house without flat ironing. Probably will. I don't know if I'm gonna flat iron my hair today. I just might just use it as a blowout. Um, I do suggest using small sections to get the roots because there's some of my roots are still damp. I feel like it has to be able to fit your section has to be able to fit into this hole. So if it's close to this or um, bigger than this, your roots won't get as dry as they could. So smaller sections so they can all fit here and that this could be as your scalp and drying your roots. That would be my suggestion. But all in all, I think I'm happy with my purchase. Um, and yes, I'd recommend. It does feel a little dry, but I think that's because I forgot to add my leave-in. That's my fault. Um, I intended on putting this blow dry spray in it, um, but I forgot. So. <laughs> What I think I'm going to do with this is add some rollers tonight and, oops, ah, ooh, and just wear it as a big blowout for a couple of days. Maybe add it, put it in a ponytail eventually. But yeah, all in all, it did what it's supposed to do. Okay. Bye, guys. Let me know if you have any questions or um, want to see any other types of videos or want me to re review any other products. Thank <laughs> you.